Hey guys, Doug here. I'm sitting on the Craftsman. There's the Craftsman. There's the Craftsman. There's the Honda. And there's the Gravely. But uh, anyways, uh, this is for uh, Tyler Humphreville. I hope I pronounced that right. He's a member of Main Mud Mowers, and he was looking at getting a, uh, making some sort of drag mower, and he was asking about transmissions, and I told him to just get a manual. And he wasn't too sure because he's, you know, dead set on hydros. Well, manuals aren't that hard to do really at all uh it helps have a gas pedal uh like you had mentioned before you do have to disconnect the brake so you will have to hook it up to an alternate pedal my idea i actually don't have my brake hooked up but just to have a bar come up you know off the side here and then over so i can step on it like this to actuate the brake uh, there's many different ways that you can do it uh this is an attempt at what fearless front did on this t-handle with the uh, bicycle brake and that didn't uh, work out too well and then the other idea was to have it like this and then, you know, push on or pull on or whatever to uh, get the brake to actuate there's all kinds of different ways that you can do it set that down there and uh so i figured i'll try to uh, make a video for you uh before i start it up and go i'll uh, just go over the basics of it excuse me um first when you start it make sure you're in neutral which is I mean, it depends on what kind of transmission you have. Mine's obviously all cut up and busted up and whatever. That's neutral. You may want to make sure it's in neutral so you don't uh, try to start it and it crawl. Um, when you go to shift, you need to uh, push the clutch in and let off the throttle. What you do is you push the clutch in. I usually go about halfway. This is in all the way. You don't need to go that far. Just about halfway, just real quick, and then let off the throttle shift that was twice let off accelerate so i'll uh, try to get a little bit of that in action for you so you can see what the hell i am talking about because it's probably confusing as hell uh, oh my god that switch turned on first try is probably because i was just on this um so let's start it up maybe if we can keep it. So you just shift through the uh, motions just a little bit and it slows you down. But uh, first, let off the throttle, clutch in, shift. Throttle up, let off, clutch in, shift. That's all there is to it. It's not that hard. Um, how this works is the shafts, there's two shafts inside. Each have a set of gears. There'll be a small gear, big gear, some, you know, slightly bigger, slightly smaller, all the way up through, and that chooses your gears. This one's driven by the uh, input. This one is the output shaft that goes to the rear end. What happens is all of these gears up here just freely spin you know, as it goes, or is it the other way around? Well, I believe it's this shaft back here. This shaft back here is driven. These are always 
live and loose and running around. And there's splines in them. So these gears are always moving. These gears in the front are all freely spinning, except for a little channel, kind of looks like a keyway in the shaft, with a key going in. And what the key is, and I'll use a rough representation of my finger, is it is just a straight piece of metal, but it's spring steel, so it's slightly bent up, kind of like that. And what happens is when it goes through, the way that the tip of it is shaped, as you push it into the next gear, it kind of just goes down and springs back up. So, uh, if you have six different gears, whatever gear that little thingamabobber in is going to be the one that ultimately drives the shaft around in circles. And then all it goes all the way out to the back. So, when you shift, you're not actually moving a physical gear into other gears. What's happening is that there are gears always moving and that there's this one little key that goes through and it selects what gear is going to be uh, the live one. That's what uh, shift collars and stuff like that is for. It's a lot different than a hydro obviously because hydro is just uh, valves like on an engine if you want to go forward the you know the valve that makes it go forward spin the pump goes you know open blah blah blah. It's a little bit different this actually transmits a lot more power because you don't have any slippage. You don't have, uh, well, you have a little bit of power loss, but uh, you have a uh, lot more torque and stuff like that because it's a completely mechanical thing. There's no uh, fluid other than lubrication uh, involved in driving the rear end besides, uh, you know, it just goes from the engine straight to the belt, straight to the rear input, which drives those gears, and they're always moving. Those gears mesh with these gears that have the uh, keys in them. The keys in turn brings it out. There's a series of gears or whatever that goes out towards the back. It hits the rear differential, spins the spiders, blah, blah, blah. It goes out the actual shafts, and that makes your tires turn. So um, you can't physically uh, grind gears. What will happen is if um, you're too rough on it, and this is kind of scarce uh, with the uh, shafts, or there's not shafts, the transaxles that have two keys. Um, transaxles with two keys don't tend to wear out as quickly as ones with four keys just because of the added stress on the keys and it's slipping. Um, you should have no problems, you know, shifting in and out. Uh, if you hot shift without pushing in the clutch, it'll be really hard to turn it over because, it, you know, the gear is riding on that key and that key doesn't want to move because of the added torque and friction on it. So, <clears throat> uh, when you push the clutch in, it lets off some of that uh, torque and stuff on that because it slackens the uh, drive line, but the other gears are obviously still turning, but it makes it a lot easier to push it in. So, uh, you can see I have a nut buster. Sometimes there's side shifts, I don't have one. Uh, side shift probably will be what you want to go with since you're used to it. It'll be handle right here. You push it forward, backwards, but it you know, clicks into each one. That would probably be the best way to do it because then you can make little thingies that go out to you know, catch each one or whatever. This one's kind of a guess and go type of deal. I don't really care what gear I'm in as long as it's uh, not reverse. You know, if I'm going forward, it, uh, that'll be a lot of stress. But, uh, anyways, hope that helped you out. Uh, hopefully my little explanation, it wasn't the best, obviously, I know. But, uh, hopefully that helped you out too and helped you get a better understanding. Manuals aren't all that bad. Hydro suck. So, um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that helped everybody out who uh, watched this and was curious. And uh, if it did, you know, let me know. If it didn't, let me know. But uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all later.